going to tell you something. And I want to be very clear about this. And Mr. Call Screener, do not allow all the sycophants to call. Okay? Do not allow them through. Romney. Romney Care, you're well aware of. His position on global warming, you're well aware of. His position on ethanol subsidies, you're well aware of. Now he comes out and he says, hey, the unions are good. In Maryland, the unions got the, the intellectually corrupt leftist governor and that outrageous, out-of-control legislature to impose on non-union members the requirement, in many instances, thousands of them, to contribute, quote-unquote, union dues to the union that they're not members of. How do you like that? Well, one stroke of a pen, the governor. What a guy over there in Maryland. Actually, what a piece of crap. Now, I haven't lost my train of thought. I am sick and tired of big government Republicans. I am sick and tired of their excuses. I'm sick and tired of their pandering. I'm sick and tired of these phony columnists like Brooks and Frum and all these other creeps telling us what to think and how to think. Their backgrounds are in a socialist government in Canada. That's their background. That's where they're from. Don't project those views onto this society. Romney is a big government Republican corporatist. I have nothing personally against the man. I could care less what his religion is. I know some people do. I don't. I could care less. But when he's advancing Richard Nixon's domestic agenda, that's right, I said it. Richard Nixon's domestic agenda on the environment, on corporate subsidies, on pandering to this group or the other, I can't oblige it. No more big government. No more big government politicians. No more trashing of the capitalist system. No more pretending to support the Declaration of Independence when you don't. No more pretending to support the limits on the central government in the Constitution when you don't. No more. No more footsie. But Mark, we have to back who can win. Oh, really? How many times have I heard this? The establishment, the Republicans, telling me not to back conservatives. Back their losers. Guys that can't even get a majority of the vote. That's their candidate. My candidate won in two massive landslides. He didn't get the majority of the vote. He got well over the majority of the vote. Massive popular electoral landslides, massive electoral college landslides, and his opponents today, as they did yesterday, lecture us. The Huntsmans, the Romneys, and all the rest. Steer away from conservatism. Ladies and gentlemen, the only thing that can save this country is conservatism. Why? Because conservatism stands on the shoulders of our founding principles. It's that simple. The Yazith side, the rest of them, they stand for something else. The American people demand that they cut spending by trillions of dollars. We demand that spending be cut not only this year, but over a period of years. That it be capped. We demand on a systemic Amendment. In other words, an amendment that puts in place a system that prevents temporary politicians from destroying this nation from within with their reckless, profligate spending. 